Kola nunye lo binda Kudo mimindo Bine ngunange Kuna na kuna Adoke na ngunu Kudarumini Ikingu iete Kuna na kuna Iyinga saresi Anita ku Alimoro kulale Kuna na kuna Yinga saresi Ani datu, ani moro kulale Walele, ululu, odiyo Walele, ululu, odiyo Na kwa nabuna ngola ngunye lo inda Udo mimindo, pine ngunange Na kwa nabuna, adoke na ngunu Darumini, ikingu niete Na kwa nabuna, sida kumumumi Komona konga, karo kilo lingjanya Na kwa nabuna, sida kumumumi
to be at prayer. This is the man of the house, and we are going to welcome him now. Let's welcome our man in the house.
Brexit taking place. Relax. And we're going to have our bright song. And she will be entering in the house. We are going to stay seated. Hallelujah. Amen. So that everyone can see her. It is hard. Amen. 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 Amen.
the little girl and the boy, they going to bring our Delta ring parents. They will be coming in now.
standing for a moment, if you would, please. Welcome to the International Wedding of the Year. Could we join together in prayer and ask God's Holy Spirit to be with us today? Father in heaven, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. And what a beautiful thing to see our sub Sudanese friends celebrate the Lord and celebrate marriage. And I am honored with my wife Miriam to be here today and to help in this celebration. And so, Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would make this a beautiful time for Beatrice and Jane. And may they always remember that God, the Holy Spirit, showed up at their wedding and confirmed that he is in their lives. We pray in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Praise God. The, uh, you may be seated, everyone. The attendants may go and have a seat now. I'm so honored, so honored to be here today. 
just make sure we have room. There's a, there's a whole queue empty over here on the other side. So whatever you can do to get people in there. There's a brother. There's a whole queue there, right there, sir. I am so glad that there are so many wonderful people organizing this day, and I just uh, show up and say my part. If I, if I had to be responsible to get all of you people in here in the right place, it would be a sorry time. <laughs> so I'm so glad that you're helping one another find your places today. Let me share with you, Beatrice and Jane, Thank you for asking me to do this today. For those of you who may not know, uh, I pastored here at Calvary Temple for 25 years. And uh, two years ago, uh, Miriam and I stepped aside from the leadership and others have taken over. And so uh, I am glad to be asked to come back and to help with this wedding. It's a great honor. Let me read to you a familiar passage and I encourage you to listen to these words. Love is patient and love is kind. Isn't that a great, great thing about love? That God gives us love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. Love is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. And I like this best. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Do you know what love is? From the Apostle Paul, love is something you do. It's not something you feel. In our culture, we emphasize love is a feeling. No, love is an action. And so I thank God love is a choice. And that's why I'm very optimistic for Boutrous and Jane, because I know they get to choose every day to get up and read this verse, these verses, and say, I will choose to love you today. I will choose to be patient. I will choose to be kind. I will not envy. I will keep no record of wrongs. I will not delight in evil. I will delight in the truth. Hallelujah. And you know, as I have served over these almost 50 years of helping people get married, do you know what I think we need to choose to do today? I believe every husband and wife, if they don't do it on their wedding day, it won't be long until they'll do it almost every day. They will choose to be best friends every day. Best friends. You say, wow, they wouldn't be getting married if they weren't best friends. Oh, yes, they would. <laughs> I married lots of people who were in love, but they didn't treat each other very nicely. So I want to just talk for a couple of moments about what it means to be best friends. And so if we become best friends and make a commitment today, Interesting day, we make a commitment in front of everybody. Yeah, we're going to keep on becoming best friends. And uh, my wife and I have been married almost 52 years. We can tell you, we thought. Thank you, Miriam, for putting up with me for all these years. <laughs> She asked me to do that three times, so. <laughs> That's called Canadian humor. 
I just want you to know that we keep on becoming. What we think is so wonderful in year 2 and 5 and 10 and 15 and 20 is nothing in compare to the love that God gives us over the years when we do the right thing and make the right choice. And God brings us through into a beautiful relationship when we keep on becoming best friends. Three things. Number one, do you want best friends? Do. If I, if I were to ask you to name someone, not your spouse, a friend that you've known all your life, and I said, what do you do when you get together? You know what you tell me? Ah, uh, talk. And so I want to give you two permission to become yackers. You know, talk, 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 talk. Now, you already know who's the talker and who's the quiet one. <laughs> Why are you people laughing at our point? Because you know which is which. And so I just want to say, never quit talking. Never quit telling the truth. Never quit doing it in love. Keep on talking. You, you know, you know that in some marriages, and it can happen at year 10 or year 20, and I want to talk to some married couples here today, you know it can happen. Here's the communication if you could listen in, in the kitchen. How was your day? Not bad. <laughs> what did you do? Not much. What do you want for dinner? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what are we going to do tonight? Up to you. <laughs> huh? That's not talking. And I want every one of us in this room who are married to recommit to being loving and kind in our words and communication and care for one another. Secondly, you know what best friends do? If you've got a best friend for more than 10 years, I can almost guarantee that somewhere along the way, somebody came to you and said, do you know what's so, so sad about you? He said, you said, and I said, and she said, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And if that person is your best friend, you do not hold a grudge. You go right to their house. You knock on their door and you say, Hey, brother, what's going on? So-and-so told me this today. What is the misunderstanding? Because my relationship with you means the world to me and I'm not giving up on you because of one insult. And I want to encourage you. My friend, you you're two different people. You've been raised in two different homes. One is an American. Yeah. 
be within the first week, I can tell you that. <laughs> and instead of getting hurt and stuffing it down, you say, honey, and you use me as an excuse. You say, honey, I love you very much. And you know what? I love you, I love you, I love you. But why in the world do you do that? <laughs> and then she knows this man loves me enough to tell me the truth, but he will not hold it against me. <laughs> Praise the Lord! And so I would like to uh, conclude with the third one. You, you heard it, eh? Communication, talk. Secondly, resolve differences by attacking the issue and loving the person. When you attack the person and love the issue, it sounds like this. You always, you never, you hate me, baby. No, no, no. I love you. And I love that. I hug you and I point to the issue. I don't point to you and say, you're the problem. I say, honey, please explain this. And I want to encourage you, communicate, attack the issue, and here's the third thing. Third thing. Best friends have a better friend. And his name is Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah! And so we just say, wow, 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 did we ever get into a firestorm there? Lord Jesus! Best friends always have a better friend. And the closer you get to him, the closer you get to each other. And I'm going to pray, and then we're going to share your vows very quickly with this audience. And we are also, as I pray for you right now, that this advice and to married couples in this room that have grown cold to one another. There is no excuse for a believer who loves Jesus to not say, I'm going to make good choices. You say, Pastor, you know what you're talking about? This is so awful in my life. Uh, I just want you to know, greater is he who's in you than he that's in the world. And you need to take that 1 Corinthians 13, 5 to 7, and you need to say, I will be patient, I will be kind, I will not take offense, and I will not keep a record of wrongs. Now, I'm not talking about breaking the laws of the country you live in. We do not believe in abuse, and we do not believe that you should suffer through that. But let me tell you, when it comes to, I like hard-boiled eggs, I like soft-boiled eggs, let me tell you, Jesus can get us through those kind of problems. And I want to encourage you today to recognize that this is from the Lord. Let me pray. Father, this is a very special day. Jane and her family. We can't help but think of Mama Hawa. We pray, Lord, that we would embrace her involvement. And she knew about this relationship before she went to heaven. And Lord, we thank you that she is in the great cloud of witnesses. And she's looking on us today. And she's clapping and cheering. And she is here by the presence of the Lord in that great cloud of witnesses. We don't fully understand it, but we know the Bible talks about it. And so, Lord, we pray for Mama Hala and her family that are here trying to cope without her. I pray, Lord, that you'll give them comfort and encouragement and love and blessing. And now we pray, Lord, that you would give and Jane, a real sense of your love and presence. We thank you that the parents who raised them, and there was extended family too involved, and so Lord, we pray that they would all feel blessed 
in watching this today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Please stand with your bride. Getting this wonderful bride to forever is not a minor operation. <laughs> this is an international event. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus.
Do you receive this ring in token that you will keep this covenant and perform these vows? Yes. Yes. Please put the ring on her finger. and perform these vows? Yes. And do you receive this ring and talk to me to take this covenant and perform these vows? Yes. Let these rings continue to be a symbol of the value, the purity, and the constancy of true wedded love and a seal of the vows that you have now made together. Amen.
is symbolic lighting, so each of you take one of these candles out of the holder and come, just, you come over there, Green Twisters, you come over here so people can see what you're doing right there at the corner. And right over here, right over here. So that people can see this and you take your candles and uh, light this candle. Okay. And there are some brides and grooms that make a big point of leaving their candle lit. And some make a big point of putting it out so they become one. Whatever you like to do, we just watch that happen. Okay. So, here we go.
sign a church document, and we sign a government document. That's why I'm working for the Lord today, and a little bit for Caesar. But uh, we will get to legally married, and in the spiritual sense, married as well. Praise the Lord.
not uh, stop them uh, on the way because we are running out of time. Uh, from here, we'll be heading to the legislative meeting for the photography. The address is 415 uh, Broadway. And then for those who are invited for the reception, the reception will start at 5 p.m. sharp. The address is at the time that was given to you. And then tomorrow, everybody is, well, is invited to a barbecue at the Victoria Park. It starts at 12 noon. So the last announcement for those volunteers who have been assigned uh, to take care of the sound system and clean up the decoration, please remain behind to make sure that the church is clean because tomorrow there is a service here. Thank you and God bless you. Well, good job. Good job. Good job. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure now to introduce to you the couple of the day. Mr. and Mrs. Beatrice Lazarus and Jane Elias. as we congratulate them as they walk down the aisle. Just before the music starts, we have a car key from Iowa, NBJ369, from Iowa. If you like to get home, we have your key. And this fan also, maybe that's from Iowa.
mundo mimindo Bine ngunange Napa na muna Adoke na ngunu Kutarumini Ikingu iete Napa na muna Iyinga saresi Anidaku Animoro kulale Napa na muna Iyinga saresi Anidaku Animoro kulale Anidaku 